first contact with the oh meta guild that's the shadow play modifier oh a man trying to the castle king is what to say if these are our fault okay they don't want it's a deal wait all must be true so i have the patron of arts modifier why can't i not do it so all must be true energy credit stockpile yes i have a ton of that what else does not have the patron of the arts modifier do i not have the patron okay no deal those fiends our operatives on the have uncovered incredible hints that the madness were holy they are plotting to deceive us Ooh. we'd like to extend our deal yes yes we would we accept that we accept that we will we will do this ally okay i'm good Grow ever stronger. Okie dokie. Research projects. Wait a second. Reinforced fleet. Sure, we'll reinforce the fleet. This one. Fleet's already at full strength. We're missing a they're destroyed inbound somewhere. No, doesn't look like it. Ships ready for action. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to build a destroyer then. Build the destroyer. And then here, we're gonna build. I guess we're building one more cruiser. The fleet has been refitted. What is this? Oh, the egg we grow cage. ever stronger. Right. I didn't. It looks like the AI already did this for us. In terms of. Okay, cool. Uh, various data across our detect is subtle, just sort of hyperspace. The effect is as, as local aurora, which star base. Okay, for our allies, not look for solar phenomena. Fascinating. Ledger of situations amended. Time project. Very nice. We're gonna have to research that. Uh oh. Why is there a bunch of stuff that I have to build? Okay. That's fine. Actually. Yes, actually. Yes. Okay, so we're. Search complete. Power oh, Mega Forges. Mining station output. Nope. Metallurgist output. Oppose. Oh, what? The Clan Hive is at war again. Oof. Did they recently go to war again? They did? That's not. I feel bad for the Clan Hive now. <laughs> they're just getting, they're just getting bullied at this point. <laughs> Can I go to war with them and get my claim? Because <laughs> I really want my planets back. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna move the fleet that way. Oh yeah, finally, the Matic Decompressor? Oof. We grow ever stronger. Technology secured. Improve the leaves. Spy 
Astral studies? Yes. Species. We have so many species now. Look at that. A lot of people migrating. Oof. Spy on people. Yep. Yep. Research complete. Right craft. Technology secured. Sorry. Grow ever stronger. Go back here. This time. 50%. Go this way. A special project is finished. Hey, Phil. Hello. The insides of Groman 2 are not what we used to be. Instead of some infant Titanic life, we recently covered genetic, genetic swap. Turns full of genetic. Huh. Fascinating. Alright. By the way, I got MacGuffin might uh, apply. Just letting you know. <laughs> the boys. Yes, indeed. I don't know whether to. We grow ever stronger. What's up? You were gonna say something? No. Oh, okay. The uh, matter decompressor in the Dyson sphere now. The uh, <laughs> the guys that were kicking our ass, well, they're getting bullied by the other other empires, and it's kind of funny to watch. Oh my God, and he's dead. Yeah, dude, it was dead. Dude, it was dead yesterday, like like around the afternoon morning time, and I was just shocked because it was like. I was like, dang, dude, it's usually not dead around this time. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it is usually dead, it's just it's the weekday. Well, no, usually, usually, like, it's, like, at, like, 
there literally is people like all around usually even if it's a weekday but like around this time sure we but grow like ever stronger time, usually not so it's very and even evening it didn't it didn't pick up to like it the room that the server didn't start picking up to like maybe like late late night <laughs> it's like mid two so <laughs> Somehow the AI starts doing things and messing stuff up when they shouldn't be. But it's all good. It's all good. I'm just gonna let them do what they want to do. Factions. I'm surprised I didn't get a lot of factions. I just very little factions. Stellaris. Really good game. <laughs> really good game. Yeah, um, I know what it. I just never looked at it. Have you been doing that now? Do you have it? Like, no. So you finished. missing out. Man. So it's like, it's like it's a paradox game, isn't it? Of course. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Uh, Galactic Empire Builder. Do you like start off with one planet as like, you just advance to. So, interstellar travel and then you expand not necessarily so you're already at interstellar traveling right so you start mm -hmm. like depending on whether you created one or you use a preset one will depend on sort of like the like your species like what they like their bonuses and like their traits and stuff like that um and like yeah and so like you start off with like a construction ship three corvettes which is like the lowest tier sh ships you have a science ship and that's about it and you basically use your science ships to explore survey different systems you use your construction ships to build base star bases and like mining stations and stuff and then of course the you, you, the, you know you restart researching technology to you know to sort of build like you know help your planets kind of upgrade and also your military right um and you go from there but every every it's always different, so. Interesting. So like really with ships, it's not just like Hearts of Iron, for example. Mm, yeah, exactly. It's not definitely not like Hearts of Iron. Hearts of Iron is a little bit You're more really... complex, so. Oh, I'd say this is this looks more complex. Oh, actually, I don't think so. Battle, what you say? It sounds like micro. I think Hearts of Iron is more complex because, like, once you get the main system, it doesn't really change that much based off what you're doing. Probably the most complex thing is about the ship designer and, like, managing your fleets. But there's a lot of easy automation in this, so it's not that hard to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot more. It, yeah, it's, it's definitely a lot easier. Oh, wow, they already found the L. Wow, these two already used the L gates. Oh, shit, we're gonna have to conquer that. But yeah, it's a lot. It's definitely. With no clear evidence of by the little can we see what the pan as their physical structure wait. Did you set it free or did you keep it there? The dismembered cloud. I said it I I kept it there. Yeah, it's in here. Oh they have begun phasing it out. Interesting. Received a temp we get a temporary boost of cohesion. So cloud and serve out for four years. So immigration pools minus twenty. Our population hmm. Our hap our population is not very happy about the, about that. Yeah, it's all good. But yeah, Stellaris is a lot easier. Micromanaging, not too much micromanaging. Um, depending, like, at least right now, because, like, you know, it's not as big. But, we grow or at least, like, my, 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 at least mine is not as big. My, uh, empire. My empire is not as big. But, yeah, it's not. I don't think micromanaging is all that bad in this. I think it's yeah. more so bad if you want to like min max really yeah. hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you're in a war. If you're in a war all the time, then yeah, you're gonna have to micromanage quite a bit for your war itself. But like, because in this game you don't actually have to go to war to become strong, it's a lot easier. Well, I think in Hearts of Iron, like, it's all about war. Research complete. Like, the game is yeah. Like, period. Like, yeah, it's, it's all about full much. aggression. That's why I think it makes it a lot different. Pretty much. A lot more difficult because in this game you can sit back right and you can play the diplomatic game or a specialist game and you don't have to attack people 
So that basically gets rid of all the complexity when it comes to like constant wars, constant ship design and all that shit. Right? You may have to do some basic stuff, but you can make it go automatic, so you don't really have to worry about it much. While you just sit back and kind of automate here and there. And you can also audit, like, you can make it automatically build planets to whatever you designate them to be. Designate them to be, yeah. And then you just sit back and kind of adjust things as you need it. It's not that bad. Exactly. Or you can know what's best and then just do the plans yourselves. Yourself. Especially in the beginning, it's probably best to do that. Okay. Yeah, I think you'll like it. Take a look at everything again, and uh, like Christmas sale. <laughs> yep, Christmas sale is the way to go. After the exams are done as well. We another faction. I like how I say there's that wasn't a lack a lot of factions founded, and all of a sudden, <laughs> what do I have stuff happening? A bunch of factions just start popping up. Academy of Technological Progress. Technology secure. MB. Um, do I have room for fanatics to file pacifists? Available envoys. Do I have time to embrace a faction? Embrace faction. I can promote. I'm I'm suppressing the spiritualist faction. I could promote the. <laughs> I could promote the the technological faction. Sure, why not? Uh oh. Uh, robotic workers, mining station output, gold points. Uh. A special project is finished. That was gonna happen. We grow ever stronger. Ah, yes, here we go. Very nice. We have to extend our deal. Very nice. Do research lab on this planet. Plus 11 exotic gases, my god. Crime. No more crime. Research complete. Uh, adaptability. Pop growth speed. Yeah, I want more pop growth speed because I need more people. So this planet, or this one needs two more cruisers. Or destroyers. Two more destroyers. Actually, four more destroyers. Two cruisers. Special project is finished. Science cloud borders at least research agreement. Defensive stance. What are you playing, Phil? <laughs> I'm uh, doing totally accurate battle simulator. Nice. <laughs> Just chilling. I just like to keep. Refitted. I just like to keep making units and then shoot people. Ready to go to war when you are like my fleets are like yeah. 
I mean, are, going. My, my fleets are upgrading right now. I'm ready to bully them even more, so. It looks like all the shit's claimed, though. Mm. Hold on, what? Surprise, there's still some people that like me in this world. In this game. Clenhive, negative 710. It's because you're a robot. Yeah, they're at war with the Stellar Academy Coalition. Yeah. Yeah, they're still at war with the same people. Yeah, we can't really get much. You mean you can't get much? I'm gonna reclaim my territory. <laughs> no, you, uh. I only need yeah, three. Just... Yeah, I only need three systems. That's it. I don't care about the rest. I don't... Okay. But I think you're the one who wants to expand more. So. Yeah. I'm assuming you want the three down there plus maybe yeah. So. Okay, if you want to go to war, then I guess that's okay. Just let me know. Ah, uh, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to do it unless you, like, get something out of it. It doesn't matter. Like, I don't think they're really attacking. They don't have anything to attack with. Yeah. I'll just bring that... I'll, I'm gonna jump the ship down action. there to protect my area, and then... Wait. Just... Oh, they completed a gateway. Oh, they completed gateways. Very nice. Yeah, I'm gonna start getting some gateways up and running, too. I don't even think... Do I have any gateways? I don't think I have any gateways. Oh, wait, I do. I have one. I do indeed have what? one. Hey, man. Why did this stop? What Alien the hell? Have formed a federation. Why did it cancel the Dyson Sphere? The a fuck happened here? No, 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 no. Wait, the Husqvarna and Unit... Intellectual oh. booty. So these two federated together. The game just glitched on me for some oh. reason. Uh-oh. Yeah, so I was building a Dyson Sphere and I just cancelled it and didn't give me the stuff back for some reason. That's weird. I know. Well, well. These guys okay. really... Okay, well... They formed the Federation, so now we have the Stellar Cat Coalition, the Federated Civilized Worlds, the... I guess I have to do it again. Federate... Who else? The... They have a Federation. Who do they have a Federation with? They are federated with the Husco. Yeah, Husco Mercantile Union. Jeez. Suddenly, there's a bunch of stuff that I have to build. Mm -hmm. Cause the game said no. Okay. Do that. We have one rare crystal, so I'm not gonna waste that. So we're gonna upgrade that. This we are going to do that. Ray, back there. Interesting. All right. Reverence for life. Purging other than in the use of world crackers. Wait, what the hell? World crackers. Oh. Yeah. I'm also going. Weapon. I'm going to abstain from this vote because I'm not quite sure where I stand on this. Because I might want a world cracker. I want. I want. I might want to build a Death Star. You know, we're gonna bring peace, <laughs> bring peace to the to the galaxy with a Death Star looking thing, and destroy uh, planets. Death Star. Yeah. Don't you want to conquer planets? So, I mean, there is a thing that makes systems turn into black holes. Yeah, there. Yeah, so there, yeah, so there's a yeah, there's a thing. In, yeah, it's Solaris with the DLC. Yes, you could. Um, it's even worse. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could make. You could either make a black hole, or you could literally just destroy an entire planet if you wanted to. So, 
I mean, there's the other one, which is, I think, uh, for... With this new update, you can flood a planet. Yep. And then I think also with the Machine Empire, their version is you just immediately turn everybody into cyborgs. Yep. Sound grow wonderful. Ever stronger. Yeah. Oh, what the heck just happened? Kamikaze into a planet? Kamikaze into a planet? Wait, count selection imminent. Oh man. Oh lord. Oh my god. <laughs> Intellectual booty. What's up? Ah. Just girlfriend's like, you drank all the water. Yeah, I mean. He a thirsty boy. <laughs> nah, she says I was a thirsty boy. You want me to go fill it? Okay. <laughs> Give me a moment. Mm. Yeah, get your ass up and fill up the water. Are you doing laundry? Because I dreamt that your laundry is finished. I'm um, not doing laundry. I probably should have. Oh, okay. But no, I'm not doing laundry. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> I'll go check on my <laughs> This laundry must be dope. It's beautiful. <laughs> Guess what, uh, you know, in Myth of Empires, you can have, like, workers for you. Basically oh. slaves. Oh. Hello. Very and, nice. uh, well, you can give them names. Guess what me and Ringo called them. Oh, God. I don't... What? what? <laughs> Gerard and Captain Emperor. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, very nice. So they're working in the fields for us now. <laughs> you need to take a screenshot of that, man. Yeah. I we're calling our horses after random people in Old Fast. Um, my warrior horse is Haggis McKenzie. Um, Ringo has a horse named Misfit. I've also got KRA General Haybales. Oh no! So yeah. how's everyone on this fine day? Hello. Hello. Chris? Yes, sir. Chris. Listen, your game's kicking my ass and I don't like it. It's good, though. What's, what is it, exactly? Mortal Shell. What's it about? Uh, think of Dark Souls. Exactly it. Well, well then. Your water does order. It be cool. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. No worries. I am back. Here, hello. Clean. Mm. Oh, let me go check real quick. Oh. Oh. What the? What just happened? Uh, 
Uh, look, no, no, no. My, my audio keeps cutting. Oh, that's unfortunate. Not anymore. Oh. Let's try it now. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. He's working in the field. He's working in the fields, bro. <laughs> We've got J Rod here with the bigs. That's funny, dude. Let me show you. There he is. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh fuck's sake, wolves. Well. They make me want to get that game now. Well, it's online, so you're gonna have to what find some group or something. Oh fuck, rubber band. I do have a group, it's called Gabe. <laughs> Gabe? Yeah, Ace. Oh, he plays it? No, I'm saying if I do get a group, I'll get he'll get it. <laughs> wait, oh. wait, wait, what is this? Myth of Empire. This? It's like it's like how you explain it, Phil. It's... Um it's like a survival game Research. where you're supposed to build an empire. You can like rule the server and stuff. But it's just me and Ringo here, so we're not really doing anything ambitious. But we're just surviving. But there's system and systems in plays as alliances where you like it's an alliance through subordination, so you like become the like the feudal system in Europe in the medieval ages. It's set in ancient China, so Intellectual booty. All the servers represent an area in China. Project and you can like take strongholds now, in the middle city and get control of the server. Oof. So it's alright. I'm gonna research plasma thrusters so my ships can move faster. My fleet can move faster. Ships go brrrr. Yeah, oh, pretty, wow. yeah, pretty much. Plasma thrusters are... It's amazing the how fast ships can move when you start upgrading their thrusters. They just move so much quicker. I have two fleets right now. I have the blue fleet and the we indigo fleet. And uh, one has 6.2 thousand power, the other one has 4.5 thousand power. So. Okie dokie. That's done. Alright, I don't know about you, but I am going to. What am I saying I'm going to do? Let's see. Where are they? Clan. The clan. Where are they? Where are they? Clan Hive. There you go. Diplomacy. Wait, I can support their independence. Wait. Oh! Huh. The, the Nurian Kingdom <laughs> subjugated them. That's <laughs> such. Okay. Well, I want. Well, looks like we won't be able to go to war with them unless we go to war with the Nurian Kingdom. And uh, the Nurian Kingdom seems to have a very overwhelming fleet power, and they are also in a... Oh wait, no, they're not. Oh, they're at war with someone else, but they are not in a federation with anybody. Yes. But yes, they have a overwhelming... Research complete. But... You know what we could do, though? We could, uh... We could support their independence, whilst at the same time... We could support their independence, but that- so if they over- if they declare war on their overlord, we'll go back them up, but then- <laughs> I don't really want to do that. <laughs> yeah. But I won't be able to get my territory back, unfortunately, unless we go to war with the Nurian Kingdom. So. Where is a Nurian Kingdom? Right next to me. <laughs> literally. Oh, oh. Liter literally right next to me. This big ass long stretch of empire. That's why it all red. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. I'm all at war right now. Yeah. Gentlemen. I'm thinking I'm actually might start that. killing and start taking over. What's it's up? this Dynasty Union fresh there. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. We shall go to war! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That one quiet guy, the, it's like that one quiet guy in the back of the room, and he finally talks. 
<laughs> oh no, you didn't get the reference? Yeah, I know, it's from Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, okay. I was about to say. It's the Indian guy, the one that does. Uh, it's it. Yeah, the one that the one that uses his translator to speak, and then he started talking, <laughs> and everybody just looks at him like, "What the hell?" Because of his high pitched voice. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I bet you they were all probably saying it's best for you not to speak anymore. <laughs> no, it's because right now I'm playing Bannerlord, and I am at war again. What are you not at war? Mm, I don't know, but it's the Sturgeons, and they're making it a little too easy for me that I'm starting to get bored. Technology secured. Okay, never mind. That's not boring. Hello. Building slots. What is this? Colony development speed. Diplomatic weight. Civic system capital complex. Oh, yes. We need to research this. We need to research that so I can upgrade my thing. I literally caught this guy on the outskirts of his own city. Oh. I can colonize one of the planets with your robots, dude. Just get the hell out of my way, everyone! Jesus! Oh? What do they want? Custodian protocol I message for attention or can I excellent? Oh, the custodians want to inoculate. Uh, well, if I refuse, they don't, and it's an ancient civilization, they might have killed me. So I'm gonna say, very well, it's for our own good. They're trying to, they put two microchips into my people. What's wrong with that? Well, you see, they're robots trying to put microchips into organic life forms. Now, what's wrong with that? Again, they are <laughs> one of us. One of us. No. Oh boy. You know, I could go to war with the Azanti. Wait, what? The Nox give us, but they have proven. Oh, the entry tech caretakers. They gave me a modifier: population, growth speed plus five, and plus ten Research years of leadership complete. lifespan, which means my people can live up to 120 years old. Damn. I agree. I like that. I agree. I agree. Inoculate us more. Please. <laughs> Make us live longer. Let me just say something so horrible right now. What? <laughs> Inoculate me harder, daddy. Oh, lord. Oh, yeah. So I want to go to war with the Azanti partnership because they are... Oh. Their fleet is pathetic. Literally pathetic. Pathetic. Pathetic weaklings. Um. Puny man thing. Although. Um, oh, but I, see, my war philosophy, I can't claim things because I'm a peace. I'm a pacifist nation, damn it. <laughs> Why did you do that to yourself? Uh. Well. You see, um, I wanted to see if I could survive this without going to war. Um, but you see, um, well, I don't know if that will hold true now. I'm actually going to build a alloy foundry. Wait, what am I going to build? What okay, how I many recruits did this guy bring to okay. battle? A lot. 
Let's do... shit. Actually, yeah, let's do alloy foundries, because we do need alloys. Finally, we can build stuff on this planet. Um, two crystal mines. So let's build a... Build precinct houses. Resolution passed. What was it? Minor research sanctions. Wow. Alright then. All three of derelict Tevron have recent, uh, not for military computer logs that should indicate their crews fled into our space to escape some kind of clan feud. Sure. Research complete. Wow, I gained a whole ass fleet of a thousand ships of a marauder. Oh my god. Well, I'll the take fleet it. Has been refitted. I have a third fleet. All right. Sure. Why not? Aren't you just balling now? Home base. I guess so. It's a salvage fleet, so. Let's see, planetary grid. Um, Wait, what? Void Fuck. walkers, minerals. Why do I have so much freaking Empire Sprawl capacity? God damn it, game. Some mosses. Oh. Okay, where's it coming? 